as you know, a lot of folks tend to dechlorinate their top-up water in their aquaponic systems. So that's what we're doing here. Not serious. Anyways, so I haven't made a video in a while, and the truth be told is because I'm kind of embarrassed about what's going on around here. Um, if you look, there's a fundamental element to each and every single one of those tomato plants, and that would be tomatoes. Uh, I had a potassium problem. In my last video, I talked about supplementing potassium, and the stuff I was using, it wasn't doing the job. There just wasn't enough in it. So. I have now sourced potassium chloride and I've begun applying that fully early and it's night and day even it only about I only started about a week ago and this is what the, the all the plants have been doing I haven't been experiencing a great deal of blossom drop per se but well there's no blossom inside there but a lot of these have have obviously pollinated and then nothing essentially no fruit forms or no fruit begins to grow and since I have started applying the potassium you can see the drastic difference well I think you can these are just cherry tomatoes but there's a lot more fruit starting to set in here on the new flowers and I'm getting much healthier flowers and a lot more of them so definitely the potassium making a difference in the production so these cherries are already ate up with blossoms anyways, so it's just a much more profound um, effect since they've been getting hit with the potassium. The, the bigger tomatoes, just because the blossom stage takes longer, um, are going to take a while. But yeah, even on the bigger plants, I'm still getting more fruit uh, starting to set. Got some here, and uh, there's another one, right, there's two more up here that are setting and again I've only started applying the potassium a week ago and it's made a big difference other things other factors that were working against me is my pH is too high guys I really tried taking a shortcut and just running the old you know 7.5 because that's what my water was naturally landing at even though in aquaponics typically your pH will gravitate down mine has not it has stayed at 7.5 this Walmart version of Thai Hydroton may have something to do with that. There could be um, an element in there that's buffering the water, the pH in the water. So I've started treating my top of water to a pH of 6, and then I'll continue to add that to the system, and hopefully naturally over time we'll get it down. I'm going to try to, within the next week, bring it down to a 6.5. Um, and then maybe we'll play around the 6.2 area. I don't want to go much lower than 6, basically, just because the bacteria need that to survive. So that's kind of what's going on around here, guys. Basically, I just don't have any fruit, and I look ate up like a bag of dicks. So that's why I didn't make a video, and there hasn't been a tremendous amount of stuff going on. Uh, Brendan, these are your mortgage lifters that I've got in. And then I put your black Russians in the Dutch buckets there. And I've got some indigo rose as well. And those are triple L crops. These are some Scotland yellows. Those cherry tomatoes, I still don't know what they are. The seed company couldn't identify them. They send, told me to send them pictures when I have ripe tomatoes. So if I ever get any, I'll, <laughs> I'll send, send them a picture. Here's one that's ripening now. But it's just the same reoccurring theme any of the flowers that had formed before the potassium supplementation they just they just didn't produce fruit so i may just cut the cut all those off there or i may just let them sit and maybe the fruit will decide to come i've had that happen before especially with the brandy wines this brandy wine is like probably about almost three meters and it's a it's a double stem right so it branches there and goes all the way up and then this is the other side of it and this thing's been in here for probably five months now and <clears throat> I'm trying to get some fruit off it so I can save seeds because it's been such a great plant overall um, so hopefully with the potassium application we'll start getting some fruit out of this guy as well real quick I'll show you guys I got a couple of these uh, new fish they're called marbled sand gobies and uh, they're pretty nasty looking things but they are considered a delicacy. Nobody has learned how to 
get them to reproduce in captivity so they're somewhat of a novelty but apparently they're excellent to eat and especially on the Chinese tables they are considered a delicacy and they're not cheap as well I just kinda got them for shits and giggles but um yeah I don't know if I'll be eating them certainly not anytime soon he's got quite a ways to grow yet uh, real quick before I wrap it up here I will tell you that I did get electricity ran to the commercial project I've got the water guy coming out tomorrow so hopefully we'll get access to um, some clean water and until uh, once that's done I, I still have to wait for the foreman like I told you guys in the announcement video so I'm being told probably another 30 days 25 to 30 days before he wraps up his current project and then we'll start um, building ourselves it'll all go pretty quick guys it's just gonna be frame and concrete really um, even I'm even sourcing molds now as an option to make the concrete fish tanks we'll be running about um, it looks like each system will run on about 20,000 liters of water so what's that about 5,000 gallons each system will have about 5,000 gallons all right so in summary I, I had four total factors working against me one is the heat I can't do anything about that the heat and the humidity both day and night uh, it's not particularly good for tomato pollination the second being high nitrates I've rectified that problem I'm trying to get my nitrates all the way down to five right now they're between five and ten so that's almost fixed uh, the third problem was the high pH we're working on that it'll take about a week to get it where I want it week to ten days and of course most importantly the potassium so the pa potassium is going to be applied fully early um, with the potassium chloride so that should that's going to be the fastest way to address the deficiency and uh, hopefully we'll increase our production by giving the plant what it needs you got to give them what they need guys I tried taking the shortcut and they're just not going to give you you know you got to give them what they want and they'll give you what you want I did put some Swiss chard in here as well just experimenting with that stuff it doesn't seem to mind the heat so much there's my rubber snake that keeps the birds out of here I move them around the grow beds they don't like it they don't like it at all because the little sparrows can still get inside the netting and they'll come in here and drink the water from the inlets to the grow beds but they don't like the snake not one bit all right that's it for this week I appreciate you guys watching if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and all that good stuff and we'll see you next soon